We can use our onion skin feature to see previous and next drawings as we work. We turn it on by clicking the onion skin button right here, or we can fine tune and add other layers to be included in the onion skin by clicking the icon in the, t in the timeline down here. Drawings in red are the ones that are previous. Drawings in green are our next drawings. And we can change what we see by manipulating these handles by dragging them to include more or less of our drawings. Another way of visualizing the onion skin in the timeline in the camera view would be to onion skin by drawings. You can click on the menu item menu, go down to onion skin, and if you click onion skinning by drawing, you'll notice that the handles disappear. That's because what it's doing right now it is showing us our drawings as if they were a stack of papers and it is disregarding the amount of exposures that are between them. And so when we use that, we have to rely on our onion skin buttons at the top, our add and, add and subtract onion skins to be precise at the top. So every time we click this, it removes a drawing from our onion skin. Every time I click add, it adds it in. So this is just a way of fine tuning our onion skin and it's another way of visualizing it if it helps you. So as we are working on our animation and as we're refine tuning it, so we'll go on another layer, it's often helpful to turn on our light box, which will add a wash and an overlay to everything else that we are that is on our camera except for what we are working on. So we do that by clicking this little light bulb down here in the lower left corner of our camera and you'll see that everything kind of washes out a little bit. So now I can grab my brush and I can begin refining some of my rough animation a little bit. Getting something more of her character in there. And as we work, there are definitely times where maybe we want to adjust what we see in our light box. And we can do that by using our top light up here. If we go up to the top of our camera view, you'll see top light. Clicking that will bring up our onion skin and light table transparency settings. So playing with these sliders will help give us our onion skid opacity or our light table wash or how much our light table is being washed out. I'm going to hit OK. So if I pull up my onion skin again, zoom out so we're not looking at a mess of drawings here. If I want to refine my onion skin, if I want to get, a, get rid of some of the how dark it is, I can go back up to my top light which is my onion skin and light table. And I can pull down my onion skin a little bit. As you can see, it's like so. And we can fine tune it as we need and just hit OK. So I often find myself playing with that depending upon what I'm doing, what I'm working on at any particular time. So as we're drawing and building up our animation, one of the things we like to do is to flip our drawings to see how they're working. And this simulates how an animator would hold a stack of drawings in his hand and roll them as if it was paper in traditional animation. So we do that by going over to the drawing view and we select our layer and let's turn our light box off or our onion skin off for now. And I'd like to introduce you to the Easy Flipping toolbar. If yours is not showing, right click, go down to Easy Flipping and to show that. I'm going to pull it away a little bit so you can see it better. So the first button over here will just flip our previous and next drawing. So if we click them, if we're working on a tablet, that's often handy to use. 
The next is a little jog shuttle. And doing this will, as you can see, will update the frames per second box, but also allows us to kind of just jog through some of the animation a little bit. The next button over here, loop, will loop the animation if we have it checked. The next is our play button. And if I hit this, what Harmony does is it will flip through my drawings using the next two boxes, whatever the parameters are in those. So the pre-roll is referring to how many drawings before and after our current drawing will be included in the flip. So right now it's set to three. So it will go back in time. It'll grab one, two, three, and then it'll go one, two, three after my, my current drawing when I hit play. And we can change that to whatever we want. We can just have two. It'll only grab two drawings. Or if we want just one drawing, the previous and the next, if we can do that. And we can change the frames per second, how fast it's flipping. So if we make this to one, it'll obviously be almost painfully slow. <laughs> if we change it to something a little more comfortable, like an eight. Like an eight. So now we have a little more, maybe that's too fast. That's up to you, really. It depends on how many drawings you're checking at any given point in time. If you're only checking, if you're only flipping three drawings, you may want to slow it down a little bit. But if we're adding more into our pre-roll, so like say three, maybe we can bump up our frame per second a little bit. So we can test our animation 